Let's go. Let's let's just do this. Week eight. We are halfway into the season, and we are getting ready for another interesting NFL season. Two teams are still are still winless, and two teams in the NFL are still undefeated. We are currently in a big game. We are in a six-game winning streak, and we are facing off against the Carolina Panthers, that are. Currently, one of the best teams in the uh, NFC and the best team in the NFC South. And Cam Newton is supposed to be coming back to practice and maybe to the game. But I think he's going to be playing very little minutes if he does. Niners winning all the way. We, they have a questionable secondary. The only thing repeating on the offense is maybe a few short route plays and uh, Christian McCaffrey. But if Christian McCaffrey goes off, we're kind of fucked in the defensive department. That's why Emmanuel, Mo <laughs> Emmanuel Sanders better pull off for us when we face off against a Panthers team. Because the only thing I see is Cockrell in a bit of a good pass rush. But they lost. But they gained Gerald McCoy that's going to give us a bit of pressure. So, I have us still winning. Because bias. And I will stick with that. Broncos, Colts. Colts. Buccaneers. I'm sorry, I never gave you in depth reason why the Colts. They have no minor injury. They don't have any major injuries. Their offense is still fluid as ever. They still have a passable run game with Madison. With no, not Madison. That's the Vikings. With uh, <clears throat> Marlon Mack and their second string, and they can still move out good pass play options. And the Broncos offense obviously doesn't compliment because if you make any minor mistakes, the Chiefs got snuffed out for this. Just by pressuring. If Joe Flacco has the same thing, thanks, he can barely move with his feet, he can barely read the receiver. The Colts are gonna pimp slap the Broncos and put them to two and six. Cardinals Saints, Saints, all the way. Then we have the Bengals. Rams, let's just unless the Rams completely fall off because I hear no minor injuries. Yeah, it's going to be the Rams. Especially because they've been going off, I think, three straight losses. They lost to Seattle. They lost two, I think, two divisional opponents. So they need this win. Jaguars, Jets. Jaguars. Gardner Minshew's going to have a huge fly ball game. And if they hold up against the Jets, the Jets are just going to continue to lose unless Gardner Minshew just has a tough-ass game. And Joe Flacco maybe not competing until later. But Leonard Fournette played well last week, so let's see what the running game can do. Unless I just I finally get to play some real defense. Giants, Lions. Giants. Darius Slay is the only vocal part of the defense. Offense is inept. Matt Patricia can't coach his way through a fucking high school team. If there's only way, if there's any way that the jet the. <clears throat> And plus, we have Saquon Barkley back. And at least they, we still have some passable receivers. I have the Giants winning. Then we got the <clears throat> Chargers, Bears. One yard short in this bitch, huh? Losing two straight. And the Bears have just been pimp slapped. And now they're sub 500. If there's any team winning, it has to be the Chargers. It needs to be the Chargers. Bills, Eagles. The Bill, the Eagles have yet to make any tra trades or do anything to spice up their offense. Jalen Mills might do something to stop that backfield, but anything else, I don't see the Bills. They haven't went through a seven-two. <laughs> they won <laughs> seven of the last. Uh, they won. They've been seven to two in their last nine games, dating back to like 2019. So. Do something, Bills, please. You're five and one. You're the best defensive team in the NFL, and you're obviously an under a little overstacked on the defensive apartment. I want to say the Eagles, but unless Carson Wentz actually plays it smart, I want to go with the Eagles beating the Bills, just by the experience department that the Eagles still have in the NFL. Please don't fuck me over like the Cowboys. Seahawks, Falcons.
Seahawks. Look at my recap video to see how I feel about the Falcons. Then we go into the Patriots and Browns. Browns need to die in a hole. Browns need to die in a hole. Because unless everything plays out well, I see only the Browns winning by a single digit or a field goal. Or if forced fumbles happen. Because as much as I love the d young defense and Jabril Peppers after that Giants trade with Odell, obviously snatched down their secondary. What the hell are the Browns going to do? So, all I can say is just the Patriots and let them continue win uh, with a winning streak. Raiders, Texans. Now, this needs to bring them back over to speed because obviously... The Texans are still a better overall team than the Raiders. And the Raiders, they have a... I feel like <clears throat> Jacob Jones is not that bad of a runner. But they don't have that many passable receivers. They got rid of their best corner that's going to be playing with the Texans. So the Raiders are kind of fucked. So they are obviously losing. Sunday Night Football. Cal, uh, Packers win. There's no chance Matt Moore is going to get through that defense. And as much as the Chiefs did pimp slap the Broncos, it was the Broncos. They have a good defense, but they're not as good as they were a few seasons ago. The most they have is Chris Johnson. You don't have to deal with uh, Chris Harris. You don't have to deal with much going into chucking over the football. You, uh, you have a weekend quarterback state. And as much as the chemistry has to follow through, it's not going to be as good as you were with Pat Mahomes rushing over and chucking the football. You're not dealing with the Broncos rebuilding. You're dealing with the Packers that's going through a winning season they haven't been through in the last, like, three to four seasons. So please play conservatively, play it safe, and try to make sure you make a presentable lead. At least I see them losing by 14. And the Steelers-Broncos. I mean, the Steelers-Dolphins. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, God, the only teams with a buy is the Cowboys and Ravens, so there's not much to be threatened about. But still, the Steelers have won against the Chargers last time I saw them. They got a bye week seven, so they get easy pickings unless the third-string quarterback can't deal with the Dolphins' defense. That's not that mo much interesting. I have uh, the, Bron the Steelers winning if they keep their running. Smart and clean like they did against the Chargers. Their defense pressuring and annoying Ryan Fitzpatrick because I know Josh Rosen won't be starting. And uh, that's pretty much it. I want to make this quick before uh, it starts to be 1 o'clock. So, oh, that's my show in the DST show. You can see I really didn't care because I know i got to upload this before it comes to 1 o'clock. <laughs> I want to watch some football, so I'm going to get my easy picks out there so you guys can make some decisions, keep the discussion going. I just want to kickstart the conversation like I always do until I get bitch slapped at the table because nobody on the table knows me. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you for watching the DST show. Subscribe, like, comment, dislike, whatever you can to make sure that I don't get any money. Thanks, YouTube, and thanks, subscribers.